Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in TNO, the last days of Europe, in which we're playing as a certain big boy Germany. But this time, as you can tell from the thumbnail, or maybe even the title, we're going to get a certain Albert in charge. But if you'd like to read about Man on the Moon, please go right ahead. I've read through that one like, maybe three times already? I'm not really sure. But it doesn't really matter since, oh look at this, the German militarist GUI. The Brown Eminence, if you like to read about that, please grade it. In my dictionary, duty is written in capitals. So my goal for this episode, because I've played Germany technically three times, playing as a certain Hadrish twice, as well as playing, I think, Bald Man, or Boring Bald Man, Ballman. Um, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Um, so basically, I've already played Germany like three times before. So this episode, we're trying to get to the, the uh, civil conflict, we'll call it, early on. Then in the next episode, we'll do the, in well... Most of the, if not all of the, little civil conflict as well. The Reich's architect, yes, daddy, Mr. Handsome over there. The Reich is our greatest work. And so, basically, I'm, we're just trying to get to the kerfuffle at this point. The Reich's last conquest, if you worry about that, please go ahead. The final frontier, yes, please, and the blonde beast. Oh, boy. There's no problem which with the secret police cannot solve. Oh, Reinhard. Um, the enemy of my enemy? Ah, uh, sure. We could probably do that one. That actually would probably make a lot of sense for us, so... I've never heard this one. Despite a rather lucrative partnership during the Second World War, diplomatic relations with the Japanese Empire have since become significantly more frosty. As we battle for diamonds in the East, it is perhaps time to warm our relations with a certain former enemy, who despises the Japanese even more than we do, the good old US of A. Despite our opposed political philosophies and troubled past, if we can warm our relations together, we might be able to contain the samurai and ensure the fall of the rising sun. Now, I want to wait. Let's, let's, get, go by, let's go by about 10 days, because that focus always like bypasses and we get to a new focus tree, because someone strikes at Big Daddy. Our scars are exposed to the world. And the Adler's launch. There you go. Hoist the Reichskrieg flagger. Beautiful. Now, does this change anything yet? No. I'm, I'm waiting. We're, actually, can we go to 15? No. no Thousand Week Reich has up to 15, which I need to get back to the mod. That mod is, can be pretty darn fun. Um, ah, and it dresses the nation. Ah, very good. And let's see. Four candidates have been chosen. Uh, do, do, do. Another name is being put forth is Albert Speer, one of the daddy's closest friends, who has advocated for extensive reform within the Reich. The reformer. The power struggles. Oh, look at this. We can get operative, huh? Auto shields. So, I mean, obviously with a lot of these decisions, if you want to do better, we can go right ahead. So for this one, I mean, the goal is always, especially when I play this Hadrish, just make sure that you always get uh, more, like, infantry equipment is not bad. I do get some of that, but more uh, divisions. Influence is moderate, minuscule. So the influence here doesn't really matter too much, if I remember correctly. What matters is that you have enough divisions when the war starts, so. Influence is minuscule. Ah, and I knew that would buy out a pass, so if you want to worry about that, please go right ahead. So now we can do reel in the Orpo. With the student-led protests intensifying over the initial months of 62, the Orpo is beginning to result in more desperately aggressive acts of law enforcement, as the students have become more violent and fierce. With the situation quickly descending into utter chaos, with a potentially fatal clash between the students and the Orpo being more likely than ever, Herr Speer has ordered the Orpo be reeled in, neutering its ability to combat the students. Ah, <sighs> students. Gotta beat the students. Ah, yes, a new dawn for the Reich. Calm down the Wehrmacht. Embrace the students, just don't do anything risky with them, but a meeting with Big Daddy. Tick tock, tick tock. Albert Speer stood by the window as Daddy Adolf shuffled in the room, muttering to himself. Those large blue eyes settled on Speer's face, and he smiled, shuffling over to join his friend in the sunlight. He suddenly hailed Speer with a jovial croak, lifting his trembling arm in salute. The action threw him off balance, and he stumbled forwards with a groan. Speer instinctively grabbed the old man's shoulders and steadied him carefully. Heil, Mr. Hitler. Oh, Herr Hitler. Speer said with a sad smile, You must be careful, Adolf. I did not come to see you collapse from an old joke. I came here to give my humble gratitude at being named your successor. His tone turned serious. I wish to see the German Reich last a thousand years, but I don't think this can be achieved without a serious change of policy. Goring calls me a radical, as if he actually has any convictions. That man would stuff his cabinet with Jews if it meant a fresh cluster of medals and a fancy new suit, as for Bowman. Bowman, that balding little weasel, Hitler suddenly spat his face, contorting in anger. Martin and Herman, they want everything. They don't realize I cannot die. The big daddy glared at his economic minister with feverish eyes. Hitler is Germany, and Germany is Hitler. If I die, the Jews will descend upon her carcasses like vultures. An eruption of rasping coughs exploded from his throat, cat racking his own whole entire body. He grabbed Speer's shoulders intensely, his face growing redder by the second tick-tock. 
tick-tock midnight approaches. The doors suddenly burst open, and a cluster of the Big Daddy's personal guards streamed into the room. Ruckus Mish held under the Fuhrer's arm and pulled him to the door, glaring at Speer in distrust. Before Speer could say anything, his old friend had been taken away. His bemused silence was punctuated only by the insistent ticking of the clock. Tick-tock, tick-tock. And Hitler's condition worsens, but we must embrace the students. Just don't kiss them too hard. Just, you know, just don't kiss them too much. Given the Fuhrer's appointment of Reich Minister Albert Speer's success, it's only natural that we should attempt to pursue a more friendly policy with the student protesters. Perhaps by wholeheartedly embracing the student movement, it will perhaps halt the increasingly violent protests that continuously disrupt our major cities. If not, at least it will show that the Fuhrer is a pragmatist, which may endear us to the students. We get a little bit more legitimacy, a little bit more fascism, and a little bit more political power. And I just cracked my back. Oh boy, student protests intensify. Uh, 62 began to draw on. Oh, actually, I think I've read this one before. Uh, there's no head for the government. Cover. I think I've read this one before, so if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Because I remember seeing the wa, we, don't. Wa? Yeah, there you go. The student revolt. All right, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. For the sake of Big Daddy, remain calm. We don't need PP here. No, 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 no. And right now, we're trying to build some civvies up here in Vesa M's. And we've already spent some money here. Oh, we have liquid reserves. I guess we could on the debt, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to be able to do too much here. We could only get 1.32 political power every single day. Not bad. It's a very nice flag. And, well, our dictator. If you like to read about him, please go right ahead. Ah. Uh, I always ask, does he have a middle name? I never remember if he did, did he have a middle name or not. Also, we could be trading with our navy, but honestly, that's pretty worthless. Oh, crap. Um, if you want to read about the Great Bulgarian game, please go right ahead. I forgot about the stuff. The Gang of Four. The Reich is a gr uh, gran granitic ephidus, edifice, firmly under Big Daddy's control and utterly dedicated to the glorification of the German people and national socialism. This is what the propaganda tells, but in truth, large cracks run through the entire facade of the seemingly powerful giant, both inside and outside the administration. Weak voices ask for a change, reform anything they say to stave off the inevitable collapse of Germany's crumbling empire. Among this choir of whispers, four men should stand out, barely audible in the blurring propaganda. They are the Gang. A four. Kurt Gorg Kiss Kissinger, or Kissinger is a prominent member of the NSDAP with deep connections to many organs within the Reich. While charismatic and cautious, his reformist views didn't endear him to the conservative leadership. Ludwig Erhard is an extremely respected outside of Germany that is economist, who has already predicted the economic collapse. Of course, in a modern version of Cassandra's tale, no one listened to him until it was too late, and his vehement criticism earned him many enemies. Helmut Schmidt is an expert diplomat who joined the NSDAP mainly to cover the fact that he hates national socialism with a vengeance. His ties to the American businesses would greatly help Germany, if anyone cared to listen to his advice. Henning von Truskow hails from the ancient Prussian warrior nobility and is, as expected, a general in the hair. Disgusted with the state of the Wehrmacht, he wants to reform it along the old Prussian standards, which made him not exactly a friend of the high hierarchies. Each an expert in his own field, the members of the small group of reformers have put themselves under the wing of our Speer to avoid persecution. Even though the relationship with their patron aren't always as idyllic as they would like, mainly because unlike them, Speer is a convinced Nazi. They all depend on each other to protect themselves from the SS and to plan Germany's future so that it may be better than the present. Germany needs to be saved from itself. And I forget how to do this. Send our additional guards. Oh, let's take a look. So, Germany turns one. Alright. Push too hard and on over ten and the round is lost. So which one are we? Mm. I think we're the one on the left, right? Oh yeah, so the Germans represented by the left hand card and the Italians on the right hand. So we're at two, we need to get up to we need ten. So the only thing we can do is this one, we lose some manpower, which is fine. Alright, we'll try that. What do we need? We need guns. Uh we need more command power to do this one too. And then we need some political power, too, which we don't have. Go figure. And uh, what is this one? Oh, we can do stuff down here, too. Uh, look for opportunities, but would not be bad. I don't mind starting off with quite a bit of infantry equipment. To me, that's kind of okay. So, real in the art ball. And brace the students. Just don't kiss them. And this coffee's not too shabby, either. All right. Tour of the nation. Up here to the Reichstag. Fascism. Less stability. Uh, daily command power increase. We can actually probably use that one. Let's go with Calm Down the Wehrmacht. With the fears bestowment upon Speer, the soon to be vacant chalice of the Reich, many of the state's most cherished institutions have responded poorly to the news, the worst of which has come from the Wehrmacht. Given the Wehrmacht's traditionally conservative beliefs, it's unsurprising that the selection of a relative liberal, at least by our standards, has upset them greatly. In order to maintain order in the Reich, we must first calm down the Wehrmacht. A dinner, an argument, an idea. Ah, uh, let's see. I think I've already read this one before. 
Well, Goring was picking at his dinner in Karen Hall. He should have always been satisfied. This food was terrific. Emma was beautiful as always, and well, those priceless paintings had not been lo losing their glamour. Given how many had collected since the war, he really should have been enjoying himself, if not for his guests. What we need is conquest, the last thing that made us the masters of Europe in the first place, day by day. Our grasp on Europe grows ever more tenuous, and I shudder to think of what might happen since our when our great Führer must die. That was the least, least of what Otto Ernst Rehmer. Oh, how Goring detested that angry little man. Goring knew that he was one of the key architects for the suicidal war plans. Well, I can tell you with great certainty. The last few decades of stewardship under our great Führer have reaped nothing but dividends. I mean, we were the first one to get a man on the moon. I think there are still some years left in our Third Reich after all. Are we not even close to the thousandth year? Am I not right? Reich's Marshal Goring, Wilhelm Stuka was a long-time friend, support, and ardent national daddyist. As far as he knew, Europe was theirs, and the future of the Reich was no longer about the further conquest. Uh, uh, well... Goring looked at Schoenau's lackey before returning his gaze towards Wilhelm Stuka. Before he had a chance to answer, the militarist interrupted him and condemned the weak-willed bureaucrats for the anemic economy. Stuckart, of course, did not take it sitting down and left out with indignation to begin what would be a shouting match between him and the ardent Schoenauite. Goring excused himself from the meal to no one's notice. It would have been a waste of to sign away his great popularity with the likes of Shona and his band of merry mad men. No, Destiny waited. Surely the successor would rather be eager to enlist the help of none other than Herman Goring himself. Yes, there was much work to be done. As soon as he could calm the two idiots down enough to finish dinner. How long will those who argue in the art of diplomacy? Okay, so I think I read this one as well. Um, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. A disaster averted. Yeah, this, yep, I remember this one, so. Yeah, yep, yep, a disaster averted. Uh, my apologies, sometimes I can't remember. It's been quite a while at the time of this recording since I've actually last played Germany in TNO. I play a lot of other nations than these guys. Oh, Agent Kleiner Fuchs. Uh, let's see. Invitation to the Reformer. I think I read this one too, so. If you want to read this about this one, please go ahead. Oh, uh, what is this one? Ah, oh, as Reich's Marshal, I must congratulate you on becoming the chosen successor of a Gross Germanisch Reich. To celebrate this historic moment, I wish to extend a cordial invitation to a dinner at Karen Hall. I've been told that you are a man of expensive taste, and on the front I believe that Karen Hall is second to none. I have also heard that you are a man of many ideas and reforms, one who wishes to bring the Reich to new heights. Although my past exploits were of the military kind, one thing I've learned in my time as a politician is this. One can never have too many men to keep the peace when less imaginative minds wish to keep things the way they were. For such fiends... I can only recommend the bayonets. I understand that your gang of four would be your main advisors, but perhaps there's room for one more. My popular support and military prowess would no doubt shore up further support for your cause, and there's no other government that I would rather serve than under yours. Sincerely, uh, Grex Marshal, Hermann Goring. Oh, the fat man sucking up to the architect. That sounds really weird out of context, but whatever. A day of remembrance. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Rest in peace. Goebbels. Bekende das Endes. Gang of four, or room for one more. I kind of doubt we have room for one more. So I do know already that someone's going to ask me in the comments, can I play as Goring, um, use, you know, Herman Goring? I will sometime, but the time of this recording, um, the submod Goring's Wild Ride does not work. It's literally out of date, and it won't work with TNO, so that's why I haven't done it yet. But, Abba Speer thought it amusing how informal and relaxed the letter was after reading and rereading him. The letter barely seemed the type of correspondence that could have had far-reaching consequences on the Reich. Speer was to inherit and manage going forwards. For a moment, it was tempting. Goring was a media darling and also someone who would do no doubt move a lot of fence-sitters towards his side, but everything else about him would be more trouble than it was worth. Primarily, his very nature would create an imbalance in the already fragile Gang of Four. His old saber-rattling reputation would put him at odds with Schmidt, and his terrible economic ideas would no doubt butt heads with Erhard. Goring was too a man who enjoyed the spotlight and would probably try to steal it from the old silver-tongued Kiesinger and, well, Truskow. Herr Speer, Truskow is waiting for you in the lobby to see you. I'll speak of the devil. Send him in, please. Thank you. Speer had made up his mind by now. Chesko would be the one to handle this. Goring and Chesko were never amicable in the first place. Perhaps Shona would be would enjoy knowing about this also. Of course. The details could all be handled in due time when Chesko opened the door. He was surprised that Speer had been standing up and waiting for him. Seemingly more animated than his usual self. For once, perhaps, they may yet agree upon something. A pity. I would have enjoyed a fit visit to Karen Hall. I know. We all would have, my friends. I know we all would have, but... C'est la vie. Man, we need more pee, -pee. Strategic fort building? Eh. We need divisions. Goring at Karen Hall. Uh, I think I already read this about this one before, so if you want to read that about that one, please go ahead. Lies, failure, and disappointment. He is quite a big man. Uh, this one's okay. I don't want to waste five legitimacy. How much can we get this one? More decisions will be available at Hitler's conditions worsening. We'll do it one more. T oh, no, we, we have 10,000. 15,000 is usually pretty good by my book, so... 
After this one, we're just going to get more division. So, calm down the Wehrmacht. And there's nothing we can do about this, which really does suck. But, find the reformers. Although the Wehrmacht is primarily split between Partei Kanzler Bormann and the Reichsmarschall Goring, with the majority of its talented officer pool being drawn to either party, there's still quite a few sympathetic to Herr Speer's ambitious reformist plans. However, these individuals aren't particularly vocal of their secret unquenchable appetite for reform, but therefore we have no choice but to carefully filter the officers of the Wehrmacht, identifying those who are sympathetic to our cause in the event of trouble following the Führer's passing. Bloody Ferdinand. Um, uh, I think I already have this one, so there you go, if you want to read about that, because I remember seeing that picture before. Is there does get no mercy from him. And what do we have here? Uh, uh, academic base is going down. Agri research facilities and agriculture is okay. Poverty is getting worse. Industrial expertise is not doing well. Uh, well, expertise there, and armed professionals is getting worse. Military austerity. Just to save a quick buck. Spend, cut, spend, cut. Oh, and we can actually do this one. Oh, fake a riot. Uh, oh! We won, we won turn. All right, good. Very good. Fake a riot. We lose political power two to three. I'm going to go big or go home. Let's go huge. Frame the FF4 attacks. Very good. Since we do have the PP, uh, it might be best to wait for looking for opportunities. I do want to win at least. I do want to win Bulgaria. That'd be nice. So we'll see what happens. Don't get me wrong. I want to boost stuff up with the Fira Museum. Ah, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. Hey, look. It's a bad word. On screen. F and then Uck. All right, we're at six. We need up to four. Well, do we rather do this one? Cell relations, command power. Oh, cell relations. Mobilize the garrison first. Calm down the Wehrmacht. God dang it. Followed up with what? Ooh, let's. Wow, that's just recruitment restrictions. Holy crap. Supports the Kriegsmarine. As the majority of the Herr and Luftwaffe having shown nothing but disdain for Herr Speer, there's one element of the Wehrmacht which has shown an interesting level of support for Speer's agenda. The Kriegsmarine. Given how the organization is already leaning to, more towards Herr Speer than the other political leaders of the Reich, it would be best if we were to build upon a decent relationship with the Kriegsmarine, seemingly rewarding them for their loyalty. Nixon vetoes the Civil Rights Act. Nice job, Nixon. What changed his mind? Oh! Fake identifications. Who's this for? Italy. Okay, we're 10. We are just mm, scrumptious. Looking for opportunities. Demand for women's rights. Oh, women's rights? Do we talk about that here when we play Hoi 4? Apparently we do, or Vicky 2 sometimes too. Um, if you like to read about that, I'm sure I've read this one before, you know, reactions are mixed, so. Let's pay them lip service, promise vague reforms, let the people choose, walk it out, wait it out. Women, right, stop the marchers, arrest all the leaders. That would be the most fun route to choose, but whatever. Screw it, let's boost it up too. We want at least one civvy done before the war kicks off. They're all increasing their legitimacy, aren't they? Um, this would be okay. It's just... It's not bad. It's probably just best to wait, though. I mean, if things happen, like, when the stuff breaks out, but then we'll maybe do, like, forts or more guns, but we don't need to rush ourselves right now. We really don't. Keep spending, spending, and making, 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 making. Nice. 20 and 13. Very good. Find the reformers. Ah, oh, improved anti-tank. Oh, good. Um, there's not really much that we're really doing here. Uh, I think we get some anti-air, I guess. We can grab some of this, too. And we're just doing a lot of this stuff here as well, so. After the Civil War, there's really not going to be too much conflict for us to do, so I'm not really worried about the whole tech side of the tree. And Spalza Kriegsmarine, and then a, a Pew to the Reichstag. Yeah, that's a lot of PP, actually. That's pretty nice. There you go. What are we making here? Ah, improved anti-tank. Thank you. Madagascar requests medical equipment. Uh, sure. Oh, we are 20. Not bad. Not bad. I remember doing this for the first time when TNO came out and played as Hadris. That was extremely hard. They made Hadris a little bit easier to play as, so. But yeah, I had no idea what I was doing when I was, when I was playing this initially. Ah, uh, one day left. And we have enough PP probably to do whatever next. Germany has won the next round. Thank you very much. So good, so good. Danke schön. Now, can we get up to 7? On the detachments. Launch propaganda campaigns, eliminate the bandits. Aerial reconnaissance, well, let's eliminate the bandits. We lose 500 manpower, but... What is men but a tool to be used? Save our PP. Uh, do these require any PP? Shape. Oh, what is this? This is new. 
Oh, that's right. And also, I do want to let you know, I am playing with a E Progresso Norte. So Brazil has unique focus tree, but it's still the demo from the CSS, the Cold Southern Springs um, mod. So Brazil does have unique focus tree. I was considering playing as them again, but I did go with Quadras one time. But I'm like, eh, it's only a demo. Maybe I'll do it again. If there's enough support, I will go back and play as Brazil again if you like. So please let me know in the comments below. On the bag, Speer lent against the balcony in wariness, inhaling the crisp. Yeah, the image of Daddy entered his mind once more, a frail figure wrapped in freshly stained sheets. He opened his eyes and stared in solemn reticence at the setting sun, the moving painting before him, the, from the fluttering leaves of the majestic trees to the swish, uh, swishing grass basking in the evening sunlight provided much relief. There was not a sight, there was not a sight in the Reich so beautiful, so German. Speer smiled sadly, though, to himself. It was wise of you to bring the Führer here, Speer said to the man beside him, Dr. Brandt, uh, also staring into the dis distance, nodded. There are worse places to take personal residence than the Berghof. Even if that fool Schaub keeps undermining you, Carl, I need an honest answer here. The public are getting suspicious. Will he recover? It isn't likely, Brandt said quietly. I need you to do something for me, then, Carl. Speer placed a reassuring hand on Brandt's shoulder and stared deeply into his eyes. You told me earlier that bald man, the baldy, baldy, boring bald man, sends one of his lackeys here at 3 p.m. every single day to deliver a report to the daddy. Well, I will send my own man earlier in the morning or in the day to give you a different report. When Borman's lackey arrives, I want you to inform him that the Fuhrer is asleep, but you will dutifully pass on the documents. When he awakes, instead, you will deliver my report to the Fuhrer, and send Borman's report to me. Speer could see the apprehension on the doctor's face. I trust you with this, Carl. You're my friend. Besides, am I not the rightful successor? The race has only just begun. Oh, and here in Germany, we love race. Here we go. Bring Hale regiments on our side. And that's the one we're just going to spam a whole bunch. So, that's good to save up your points. But, let's appeal to the Reichstag. Oh, Ah, oh, that group. I, I played as a nation before. In the past, the German political establishment had all but exiled Speer from its ranks, given his appetite for reform within the Reich. However, given the Führer's recent proclamation of Speer's successorship, it has been suggested to the Reich's minister that he should perhaps attempt to convince the Diet once more that reform is indeed needed in the Reich. Herr Speer has no choice but to enter Bormann's fight to him once more and to desperately plead his case for reform. As without the Reichstag support, how could Speer ever hope to govern the Gross Germanisch Reich? Good points. Good points. And we have done it twice. We have won two, so we need a total of four more. Um, two to four, thirty-three percent chance, no, and a twenty-five percent chance. Armed detachments. This would be better to do overall because that's the highest chance we'll get immediately. But we shall see. Cut them down. Cut them down. And eh, spend some more. We can't cut down the debt yet, but that's okay because we got things to build here. Twenty, 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 and some more. Yes, please. Yes, big poppy. Well, the debt's just not looking really good now, is it? And that is okay, my friends. Now, we're not going to do anything for land auction yet. We're not going to do anything for artillery. We're not going to do any of this stuff, really, except for, like, support companies, just because I don't want to give anyone an advantage. So. And we'll make up for it for, with whatever. Hey, look at that, my friends. We have done it again. We had a 33% chance, and we did it. At least I think we had a 33% chance, so. Uh, I love Bulgaria. Well, some days. Some days I really don't, depending on what their action they take in, so. Look for opportunities. Veterans demand their share. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Spaz influence. It is the right earned in blood. See, times are different now. Times are different. So basically, we can close out of this one. Probably don't need to see this one again. All right? Eh, keep it open just to feel good about ourselves. Ah, yes. 20, 20, 20, plus 6. It's so good. So good. Keep spending. That is okay with us. Cut them down. Oh, we do. Uh, what do you want to do next? Defund the Luftwaffe. For decades, Reich's Marshal Goring has seemingly been Albert Speer's greatest rival, with the two continuously coming into conflict since the establishment of the Führer's regime three decades ago, given Herr Speer's newfound influence. Being the Big Daddy's successor, he will, of course, target his greatest rival, for it is the survival of the fittest. It has been decided that to best check Goring's influence, you must neuter his pride and joy of the Luftwaffe. As a result, we will defend, defund the Luftwaffe, keeping them short of fuel and restricting the missions they can fly which affect Goring's power, yet this isn't purely personal, as cutting back the Luftwaffe budget is something that very much appeals to Speer due to his pragmatic economic strategy. Ah, oh, we don't need to do anything here. We won three turns. Best of five wins. I'm not even going to do anything there. Ah, uh, actually, we could probably do some stuff. We'll lose 100,000 from reserves. Nope. Command power? I don't mind losing command power. What is it? Where we're at? One? Can we win four out of five? That'd be kind of cool. Place. Yeah, house arrest. There you go. Ah, has Burgundy finally done it? Perhaps. Perhaps. Very nice. 
We have a lot of PP actually now. And do it again. Uh, True the nation. Despite the fierce endorsement of Herr Speer as a successor, he remains a deeply divisive figure within the gross Germanische Reich, with many lambasting him as a political Judas and traitor, while others proclaim him to be the Reich's only hope for a prosperous future. Through extreme polarization, the truth of the matter has become muddled and misconception in lies. To truly show the follow line of Herr Speer's friendly nature and the pro NSDAP attitude, we will send him on a grand tour across the GGR to dismay any or ridiculous fears. Absolutely. All for the GG, all my friends. Strong arm him? Eh, it's fine, why not? Who cares? Tour of the nation. Approach the Americans. With the appointment of Herr Speer as the next Fuhrer, a wave of optimistic fervor has swept across the international community, particularly within the U.S. government. Prior to the announcement, Herr Speer took a seemingly pragmatic approach to foreign affairs, urging reconciliation and cooperation between nation states. Keeping true to his previous utopian vision, we will reach out to the Americans and prepare the way for a potential future detente. And we're at 8 and they're at 6, so we'll see what happens. They might still be able to win, but that's fine. I don't really care. Cool. Now, I'm not planning on the Civil War being extremely hard. With, what was it? When I did Bo Borman, he was really easy to play as, actually, or beat. So, beat the other contenders. Borman's not too difficult. Um, Hadrish is just ridiculously difficult. But it's still not that bad. It's really not that bad if you plan out things accordingly. So, uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend Hadrish for the first campaign for anybody, <laughs> including myself. So, and I haven't done Nagorian yet. So, we'll get there eventually. Okay, for opportunities. Protest and reach new heights. If you want to hear about that, please go right ahead. If you have a right to protest, make sure they're safe. Deploy the troops. Send in the assets to make sure it works on these liberals. I'd love to do that, but I guess if they want to have that. Oh, look, we won number four, too. Look at that. Uh, can we win 5 out of 5? Can we? You know, that'd be really cool. If we win 5 out of 5, can we get some extra bonus political power, bonus points? I would actually like to see that. Um, da, 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 shoot. Hey, look at this. Shoot armed protesters. Yep, let's go. You and me and protesters. Ha. Huh. What could be a better date than that? But to the nation approach the Americanos. And the first reform. With the Reichstag seemingly on board with the implementation of reform within the GGR, the first reform is upon the people of the Reich, however, Herr Speer, knowing how important the first reform will be, as it will be what history remembers as the beginning of all to come, is still attempting to decide exactly what the commencement of such momentous legislative action should be. No doubt he'll eventually come up with something worthy of the title as the first. A trip to the tea house. Hmm. Ah, I remember reading this one. If you want to read this one, please go right ahead. Place the fear under 24-hour medical watch now. Yes. As, if I remember correctly what my German was. Seriously. Can we get bonus PP? Uh, we deserve bonus PP for getting 5 out of 5 to 0, right? I mean, we might actually get it since they could technically tie it up, but... Like, I'm feeling... The German PP right now is just, like, standing tall. Like, this is this is good. The Great Thorn upon the Atlantic. I'm going to put that up. go ahead. Verdien Deutschland. A colder war. Hmm. Oh, here we go. There. Seriously, we just won. They got to 11. And our influence is minuscule. It's alright, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna grab some of that, my friends, and then... Where am I going later today? Holy crap. Sorry, I just... I thought, I can't remember what I'm doing anymore. Eagle Souls, if you like feeling like about that, please great. Another victory for the Reich. What ramifications this will have diplomatically are yet to be seen, but everyone can agree Germany's mind is not questioned. Another victory. Always another victory. And the first reform of promising future will be really good. A new kind of war. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Oh, I should have chosen that one earlier, but eh, it doesn't really matter too much. It's still only 62, so when you get to 63, things will start falling apart, right? It's not 64, 63, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, then again, I don't play Germany a whole bunch in TNOs, but American spy plane intercepted? Very nice. Don't even think about coming back. You two almost shot down over England. Oh, boy. Well, how about you don't fly over here, then, Americans? Or English, whatever. Promise the future. Unlike our opponents who seem to fervently cling to the decades-old triumphs of the GGR, Herr Speer urges we look towards the future, rather than continue to seek guidance from our previous exploits. He stands out as the only major political figure active in the current Reich politics that has a pragmatic outlook on the future. Whilst our opponents may make extravagant claims of recapturing the magic of the 30s and 40s, we will simply promise the Reich a future, and hopefully it will be a prosperous one, as the German people have suffered enough already. You know what? Because I know, in the end, people in the comments are going to be telling me 
do Gang of Four, and other people are going to tell me, don't do the Gang of Four. So you know what? It's going to be a little bit like... Actually, it's going to be pretty darn time intensive for me. Um, let's say, if this video gets to like 150 likes, I'll do both sides. I'll do Gang of Four and the non-Gang of Four route. So, if we get to 150 likes for this video, I'll do both sides. I will do both sides. And actually, I'll probably change the thumbnail too. Yeah, I'll probably do that if we get to 150 likes, which I think we'll probably hit. But, that's my... Uh, I don't say goal. That's my deal to you guys. 150 likes on this video, and I'll do both sides. I'll split the campaign in two. Like I did with... Well, who was that? Was it you guys? Some some group, I forget. Was it Nova Sabiris? It might have been. I can't remember. Oh, Svedlosk. I split my campaign when I played Svedlosk into two. As well as when I played as RFK, I think. And then went to John Clinton as well and someone else. Maybe just more RFK. But we'll see what happens. Field hospitals, very good, very good. We're going to need a lot of hospitals for where Germany's going. It won't be as bad when, if you're playing as Hadrian, but still. Oh, so please Paraguay. Nice shade glasses. The Punta de Este meeting. Could they be planning another revolution? Sometimes it feels like these things, uh, these kinds of things, could be an adventure novel. Restrict SS recruitment. The shoot stuff are the most extreme adherents of national socialist philosophy, given that organization's largely radical beliefs is becoming a breeding ground for a virulent anti sperite sentiment in the Reich. Furthermore, given the actions undertaken by ex uh, Reichsführer SS Himmler and Heydrich in recent years, it's been suggested that the SS recruitment should be restricted or with or without consent. Oh, no consent needed here. The SS's considerable hatred for Herr Speer has provided him with a legitimate Cassus Belli to enact said restrictions. Ah. <sighs> Who needs consent? Ah, uh, good. Ah, uh, Hitler's condition is critical. More decisions, opportunities, yes please. Autobahn renewal, there you go. A traffic oversight that we will repair will put the hair to work. There's no need, it would be a complete utter waste. Ah, uh, legitimacy goes up. The doctor's call. Speer's blood was running cold. The dreaded moment had finally arrived. Dr. Brandt had phoned him in the early hours of the morning, claiming that Hitler had fallen into a coma. After an hour's sleepless contemplation, Speer once more rushed himself out of bed, strode to his study room, and plucked up his phone. He needed a talk with the chief of the party chancellery. Hi, Hitler. Herr, Herr Bowman, I'm sure you would agree that the Fuhrer's absence from the public sphere has not gone unnoticed. Dr. Karl Brandt has served Hitler faithfully, and the only thing preventing a faster rate of recovery is Jewish Schaub's interference. As a designated successor, I will remove him from this post immediately and publicly condemn him. Let me guess, Bowman replied after a brief pause. You want me to condemn him too? Scape go to him to protect Dr. Brandt? He scoffed. I don't care much about Brandt, but Schaub is a repulsive bad word toad. I'll make sure to speak my mind. Let Goring know, Speer said, and placed down the phone. A pang of sickness was growing in his stomach. His friend and mentor was on the cusp of death, and his foes were not going to sit idly by once this fact had reached them. He ran a hand through his thinning hair and slowed his breathing. Hitler's current state of health must remain a secret. Only his most loyal supporters in the party and the Wehrmacht could be informed to prepare them for any future conflict, he could give some speeches to sway some moderate party comrades, and maybe throw in a few dog whistles to rile up the student movements throughout the Reich. As long as the Reichstag declared him to be the Fuhrer, he could probably maintain a strategic position in Germania in the disastrous event of a potential civil war. The final curtain is falling, although it's been decades since the end of the traditional war as it can be referred to. Many generals in Oberkommando der Wehrmacht seem to have failed to comprehend the change in the situation. Seeing this rather old-fashioned outlook as concerning, Herr Speer must convince the more traditionalist generals who still view the world through the lens of social Darwinist militarism. We can still fight and win major conflicts without ever firing a shot. We simply need to convey that message to the generals. Alright everyone, so now we're finishing up a new kind of war in which we're now going to go to a sensible economy. In accordance with Speer's doctrine of reform, it's time to at least attempt to commerce some level of economic reform in the Reich. Herr Speer has a great many gripes to the current economy of the Reich, referring it to as unstable and deeply unfair for the average German. With the enactment of his reforms, let us hope that the GGR will soon achieve economic stability and sensibility under the wise leadership of Speer. We get more civilian construction speed and more cap and more legitimacy, which is always a good thing to have, but then opening the market. Scale back military production? Let's do this one, opening the market first. And there goes Madagascar. The GGR is currently under embargo by our opponents in the OFN and co-prosperity sphere, though it's not as if we're entirely innocent, as we ourselves are currently embargoing several potentially profitable trade partners. Thus, we've unintentionally limited Germany's capacity to engage in international trade, thereby causing us unneeded economic strain. To have a successful economy, we must lift our as-of-yet ironclad trade embargoes upon our opponents and encourage free trade across the GGR. Cool. And right now, our influence is musical, but now we can go and grab some military contracts, which I've already got one. I'm going to make it two, maybe three max for us, but really just focus maybe getting on. For my goal here, I guess I should really say, if I can speak correctly, is for us to get at least 20 divisions on our side before the war breaks out. 20 decisions, 20 divisions, whatever we call them, 
20, it would be good. We have 15,000 guns in reserve already. And if we get a few more military factories, I think that'll be okay. And actually, we've already begun producing one more here, so a report from Norway. If you like to do about that, please go ahead. Open for business. Sehr gut. Sehr, sehr gut. And we made another military factory up here in Sud Hanover Braunschweig. Braunschweig. Very cool. Our sensible economy is almost finished, which will be very, very well. Hey, minus four billion. Not too bad. We have one, two, three, four, some all producing, producing, producing. Opening the market. Yes, please. Followed up with scale back military production. Yet yeah, another of Speer's gripes with the economy is the influence once held upon German industry by the Wehrmacht. Military needs are playing too far great a role in the economy. Germany's massive military costs a ridiculous amount on its own, and a tremendous amount of the German industrial base is dedicated to keeping it supplied. Therefore, Speer has widely determined that the Reich's economic situation would improve if we were to scale back our military production, It's as it's unlikely that the Reich will be engaged in a major conflict anytime soon. Command power goes down. Uh, replace studying the new kind of war with military production reduced. Uh, we get better consumer goods, but hurts your military factory construction speed, which is not too bad, but bring hell regiments to our side. Ah, some uh, Thai guys been elected. The drums beat heavy. And look for more opportunities. Very good. The economic mess, if you want to read about that place, go ahead. Uh, Ludwig Erhard has some fascinating ideas. Ah, back up to 10. So now we are at what? 16? About 16 division? 18. Good. Sehr good. Well, after restricting SS recruitment, our manpower is not looking very good. It's only 0.2% of what it could be. Wow. Oh, we're going down to zero. We're literally going to go down to zero because of SS recruitment restrictions and two-year draft. Wow, that sucks. Uh, maybe better planes. Yes, please. Improve jet fighters. Improve jet cast fighters. Yes, please. Cut down the debt. Very, very nice. As in Herr Hitler's currently comatose. Good, good. One, two, three, four. Hey, building up some infrastructure is maybe not a bad idea either. I don't exactly remember which states we get and keep. That's why I'm just focusing on these, like, five right now. We don't get that much. I think we might get Rhineland, maybe? I can't remember. Getting Westfalen down is not too bad either. Uh, do they have any resources here? We would get a little bit more steel if we build up the infrastructure here, so... That's not too bad. Wow. Yep, no manpower now. Max out that infrastructure, because we're not going to have any of that when the war starts. Alright, so now, here, we're at 20. Let's grab... Maybe up to three off-map military factories. And then, a little, too little, too late. In recent weeks, the situation within the GGR has worsened, counter to Speer's belief that they would have improved due to the implementation of reformist economic policies. Instead, Herr Speer has begun to realize that things are going to get worse before they get better. And at this rate, it'll be quite some time before the Reich is able to achieve economic reform. It's more than obvious that we've achieved too little, too late, an interesting development from Italy. Well, good luck with that, Italy. We have no manpower. We are barely making roads. We're making some civvies. We're making some millies. Actually, millies are... Uh, actually, they, get, they take longer to construct than civvies. Usually it's the other way around, but... Okay, interesting. But we have a few more millies just in case we need them. And that's very, very good. Too little, too late. And we have 20 divisions, 15 influence, which I guess maybe we should have spent a little bit more, but that's alright. SOS recruiting restricted. Very good. And let's see what happens. We get more war support and change fascism a little bit less. Oh, well, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. So many war words have never had so little to say. Oh, boy. Um, we currently have three. Let's give it to three. Let's give it to three. And looking for more opportunities. SS acting up. Root SS influence out of the civilian sector immediately. Civilian budget boost keeps spending, keeps spending and building. That's fine. Uh, cut that too. There you go. Improve anti air. Very good. Sehr gut. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Not too bad. Um, actually, maybe we want to build some radar here. That could actually be really, really useful for the entire war effort. Even though, well, at least have level 1 radar, which is not bad. It doesn't do very much for us, but that would be really good for defensive positions anyways. Building up roads so we can build up more stuff, you know, while we're at war as well. Actually, getting a line of forts probably wouldn't be too bad, but we didn't even get any of them here too. Huh. I mean, if we had enough time, I'd probably do this again, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. That's alright with us. And... Too little, too late. We're out of focuses to do for now, so now we'll get more PP that we don't really need to use. I wish we could do more stuff with our PP, but, you know, it is what it is. You'll be done October 13th, which is good. You'll be done October 20th, which is probably still okay. November probably won't get finished, but these roads will get finished too, so that's actually pretty good. There you go. Nice. At least get those roads done before the war breaks out. And 
Well, we did this. We got three. We got 20. Maybe get some forts. Why not? We could try it once. I always make it a goal of mine when I play as TNO Germany. To get, before the Civil War starts, cut down the debt to match at least the GDP, but I can never do that. It's just not possible, so. It is what it is, but it's alright. Ah, oh, another civvy done. Good. Hopefully we can trade these civvies away for more resources when the war starts, which would be good. Hopefully trade to the Netherlands. Keep building, 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 building. What are you going to be done soon? Autumn? Oh. Oh, Eva. I remember that one. Farewell, my Führer. Farewell. The death of Herr Hitler. I did remember. Never send a note for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. A funeral for a Führer. Emergency. Reichstag Emergency Council. That was abrupt. Oh boy, it looks like we're going to do some of the Civil War here in this episode, which is totally fine with me. I don't mind doing some of it now to show you guys what it's like. The flock takes flight. Its pieces will soon be in place. Hiding the Reich. Can we agree on nothing? Absolutely not. We're going to look for opportunities. Military budget review. Invest in the economy instead. Instead. Hey, acting strange. Ballman is making his move. Ah, oh, the bald man. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and some. Hey, just rises up. We could have done. We could have done so well. We could have done so well. But these people just want to rise up. Why? Speerians rise up. Speer, yes. Goring rises up. Would Hitler would have wanted this? Maybe. Oh, and it's still only November. Bormann breaks away. The ego is falling. Gott hilf uns. Civil War begins. The German, uh, let's not click that. I want to get at least this one done first. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's, it's lagging super hard right now. Oh, is it just going to fire anyways? No. Oh. Hold on, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. I think it's awesome. Just and must have been exploding. Yeah. Um, if we wait, can we actually wait until we get that one done? Twelve days, and eh, we won't be able to get that last one done. You know, we can wait a little bit then. Let's wait. I want to get uh this one done first. These two. Uh, November tenth. Yeah, we can get that one done and this one done. Nice. We got that one done and all right. There will be blood. Cool, so we got level 2 radar station, not even 1, but level 2, which will help us on attack and defense, understanding where enemy divisions are at. The game is lagging so hard right now that it's about to crash. The end of the like surely. So it begins. Awesome, awesome, and, well, we're, mm, spend, spend. Not too bad. Nice little flag there. Uh, oh, look at him. He's Alba Shabazz, a dictator. If you like to hear about him, please go right ahead. Very nice. And for us, everything's still going down pretty normally, except for army professionalism. Nice. So we do have Hitler's chosen successor. That's good. We have the Germans of a war, of course, for everybody. Military civilian budget boost. State of legitimacy is kind of down, but in the end, it won't matter to us quite one bit. So this is how we're going to organize our soldiers. All tanks and uh, maybe motorized. Stay together. Stick around. Oh, the burger there. And motorized. Uh, do you have armor on you guys? You don't. So I'm going to throw you guys over here until unless we don't need you guys. Send me half you guys. Go there. Go there. Do that. Hmm, it's not good. So, if that's the case, we're going to do Wilhelm Soften. We cannot afford to lose. And I did notice that we did not actually get that all the way down there. Ding, dong, dong, dong. Uh, just hang out around here. I I thought we would get the Auslan or the Rhineland. wasn't exactly sure, so. Please go up. Thank you. If anything, I want to make a... I'd love to make it to Lundbeck and just hold. That's something I would really like to do. But what commanders do we have here? Von Tresco, of course. Uh, very good. Pretty good. Man, that guy's kind of chunky. Rudolf Christoph Freiherr von Gesdorf. Isn't Freiherr like Duke in German? I thought it was Duke. Oh, we don't have a command power either. That's fine. You guys, I want a Stief. Stief. Anyone good in defense? Klausing, Run. Um, what, Hudson? You're really not great on defense. Yeah, Vessel. Skozel. Yeah, look at this guy. And tanks. Ehod. Ewald Heinrich von Kleist Schmenzen. There you go. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to defend mostly for the first part. You guys, I really want to kill off Goring up here, so. If we can do something like that, that would be really kind of beneficial. And before we let the time go on, we've already done this stuff, which is nice. Uh, we still have military civilian factories. Just produce more. 
eventually, like, off the, like after the Civil War, we're probably just going to convert everything here to, like, civvies. So, I don't really care too much. Eh, 10 out of 10. That's why we did it. All right, guns. Uh, that's not guns. These are guns. APCs would be nice. Get some anti-tank. Grab some support equipment. Grab some arty as well. Anti-air. We probably don't need that for this one, but we'll see. Uh, oh, we have mouses and pounds of flock mouse. That'd be really fun to use, but whatever. Uh, nope. I already did this one off screen to get ready for this campaign, but whatever. Get some jet cast. Get some jet fighter. Just get some of that too. We don't need any of this. Transport helis. Uh, we might use. Attack helis we might use. Do we enter helicopters? Probably not. Cool. That's it. I'll uh, just make some convoys. That's fine. Commander. Gunter? Yes. Oh, we have no... Uh, I think it's here. Huh. Okay. Cool. And planes. What do we have for planes here? Probably nothing. Do we have any spare planes in reserve? Yes, we do. We've... Oh, well, maybe. Attack helis. That's why I wanted to make some of those guys. We'll use whoever we got here. My apologies for taking a while for this, but since we have some time, I will go ahead and start the war and try to fight it a little bit. Hmm, not much, but we'll take them. I'll take whoever we got right now. All right, let's call everyone in. Bing, bong, boom. Bing, bong, boom. Good. Um, it doesn't really matter who, what we put on. They all come here. Whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. And. Into the airbase. Do we have more fighters at all? We sort of do. That's good. And I want to put you guys at least over with the tanks. Just because we'll probably need them. And here we go. Convert 5 legitimacy to M5 influence. Le low legitimacy. Influence. Well, time to see what will happen. If things don't go well, you know what? I can always save it. So, just in case things go poorly and I might need to come back to the save. Like what happened to one of my other campaigns where I didn't save earlier. And basically, I'd replay all of it off screen. But that's neither here nor there. I don't know why we can't just do a front line against everyone here. Ah, der Bürgerkrieg. There you go. And the Boxkampf. That would be pretty good to do, yeah. Division Defense on Court Territory. Let's do that one. Our army has few professional soldiers because of our movement was not started by hardcore militarists, fanatical racists, or establishment Nazis. Few Wehrmacht divisions defected and made the trip west to our lands. We, however, have something the other factions don't, the support of the people. Our war is not going to be fought by SS thugs or indoctrinated Nazis. Our fighters are the people of Germany. This is our curse and our blessing. Thousands upon thousands join our cause, willing to fight for a better tomorrow. A better Germany, all but Speer as a nation's best, last hope for a better future. And the people of Germany will rise together to make his vision a reality. Yeah, I don't care about that stuff, so. Alright, are you guys pretty much there yet? Um, Yeah, I actually might be able to do okay right there, actually, already. Yeah, there you go, look at that. And then, get you guys down there, go to Lundberg, and then go to there and cut them off, maybe. You might actually literally be able to do that already. And the world's falling apart. There you go, nice. Because they're already attacking us here. Oh, that is not good. It's alright, it's alright. Even if we do give up a little bit of territory there, that's fine. Head down here. Nice. Good. Help support the attack. Tank will take action. You might win, you might not actually. Uh, can we finally do this, or what? Okay, so if that's a case, I'm gonna do it like this then. All of you guys are going to do this. You're one army. That's fine. I don't care. I know I set things up like this, but whatever. You guys are going to be under Von Truskow. Doesn't matter. Just so we can get ready to go. And... Here we go. You guys, just do this. They already attacked there. You know, you hold for now. Just set yourselves up. Just set yourselves up. Defend, 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 defend. We're gonna need more guns. South African war started. That's fine. Good. Soon control of Germania. That's fine. Whatever. And then once these guys are a little bit more uh, ready to go, then we'll go ahead and uh, attack and whatnot. All right, that'll be good. Three v one. We should do well. All right.
How can you not win with force attack? When their tanks are exactly the same and you're losing, I, I seriously question how good these tanks are. These guys are garbage. Yeah, they're pretty bad, actually. They're pretty darn bad. Alright, so let's take these guys up then. You guys sucked so hard. Excuse me. Thank you. Guards are two. Are there any other tanks here? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, you guys suck. You guys really suck fat ones right now. Um, send you guys back. Send you guys back too. There you go. Yeah, I just wanted to do well, man. Well, let them do whatever they want to do. Um, we'll push them around the radio. Donut launches coup in Crimea. If you want to read about that, please grab it. That blast a traitor. Because you guys are going to focus over here. We're going to push them out of the river. Over the river. So that'll be good. Focus where we can do well. And what are we missing? Well, we've got enough infantry going for now. We need way more anti-tank, way more anti-air, and stuff like that. So. Mm. Mm. There you go. Just get ready. They will attack us again eventually. Or they might be killing each other too. Hopefully, we'll see. We've got time to do this, though. Any upgrades? Panzer Expo would be nice. Yes. Are we ready to go yet? Actually, it does help if we do get some fuel. I forgot about that. Britain the declared neutrality, which is fine. How do we not have enough for fuel? What is going on? It's because of our navy. I'll oh, stop doing the navy stuff. Yeah, we'll stop go home. God dang it, you piece of garbage. Why are we getting any more fuel? Hold on. Who's using all the fuel up? The air's not really using that much. That makes literally no sense. Now we have some fuel. Thank God. Miller coup. All right, you guys go right there. That's fine. Students rising up support. To assist the Center Valley fight against the treacherous opposition led by Goring, Reinhard Heydrich, and Bormann, students rose across Germany have risen up and taken arms to defend democratic and morally correct rights. It's imperative that we garner the support of the students, for their help is much needed against the ruthless and pers perseverant SS divisions possessed by Heydrich and the well-trained armed forces units possessed by both Goring and Bormann. The support of the students will, in fact, be a great boon for us, as while they are not a professional fighting force, they can still tie up the resources of our enemies, which will lead us one step closer to victory. Rise up, students! Good. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um, your goal is to get all the way over here. Holy crap. Alright, you guys just kind of hang out and get the heck out of there if you can. No, can you just... Honestly, they're going to die here. I don't think we can break through to help these guys out. So, I'd rather just delete them. These guys will probably get crushed here. I just don't think these guys can do too much. You guys hold... Uh, yeah, you just dig in. You guys are going to die there anyway, so I'd rather just take the equipment you get. You have, so. Where are you guys at? Oh, uh, you four actually might be able to break out, maybe. You might be able to break out. We won right here, which is actually really good. Now we actually might be able to do something here if we actually have fuel. Ah, there we go. So that's why we couldn't win it there earlier. That's good. That's good stuff now. Let them starve. Bremen does... They do not have a port, which is good. You guys just kind of hang out there and like, distract people. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright, you four. Let's go on here. See what we can do. Good. Alright, and then you four go right there. Completely encircled, and they'll die. The Voxkampf. Dissidents no more. All brave sons of liberty. Uh, it's not bad. I don't want to hurt us too much. Friends in the Reich, yes. Germans fighting alongside us in our occupied territories are not only Germans who wish to see us triumph in the Civil War. Throughout the Reich are thousands of like-minded Germans who know that only with Albert Speer's leadership will Germany be rebirthed as a stronger, more just power in this bleak world. We would, and should, call out to these scattered loyalists and ask them to help us in any way we can. Or in this way they can. I love it when enemies are starting to starve for supplies. Go in. Kill them. Kill them now. No fuel, no hope, nothing. Okay, so that's pretty good. Up here, we should... Actually, we might be able to go here and take off these guys up here. Actually, I think we're going to risk that right now. We actually might be able to break over to Schwerin. 
He's not super strong. They might entrench themselves a little bit, but I'm surprised these, none of these guys are killing each other. I'm very surprised about that right now. Alright, let's go in. See what we can do. Goring is not that difficult right now, which is a little surprising, but okay. Throw too much of it. Very good, very good. See what happens. Can you guys actually intervene here too? Yes, you can. That'd be very good. Alright then, so we don't want to take too much territory yet, because eventually if we take too much territory, then they'll all try to fight us, even though it honestly seems like they're not doing anything yet, so we want to take little snippets of territory before they start fighting us together. Alright, well, I guess you just go this way, guys. Do your best. And do your worst. Oh, we actually saved you guys. Oh, they're actually attacking us there too. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, you four, you're doing great and all. Come down here, honey. There you go. Let the four tank divisions do what they must. A lot of auto saving, huh? Look at these guys rip. Rip and tear. Oh, it's so beautiful. Keel captured, if you like to do that, please go right ahead. The war continues. Oh, yeah, you buy stuff. Nah, we're gay. We're, we're not we're about that stuff here. There you go. A lot easier than I thought. Uh, since we're here, anyways. Uh, there you go. Clousing. Were you a guy who was in part of Operation Valkyrie? It sounds like he was. Could be wrong about that, but it sounds like he was. Alright, so you guys are done with that. You guys just hang out, because I want you guys to do this, and then you guys do that. You guys are doing actually really exceedingly well. Not sure why. Borman is going to be an issue, though. He's definitely, definitely 100% going to be an issue. I'm going to come back down here. I want to circle that division that they did take from us. So we're going to go do this. Bing bong. Do we have any extra spare divisions? Any extra spare panzers? No, we do not. Helmut Stief. Need some of that. We're out of fuel already. Once again, unacceptable. How much more fuel do you need? Hadrius would be very nice to kill off. He's not going to be hopefully that difficult to kill off, but you never know. I'm very surprised these guys are not attacking us. Like, what's going on? I mean, yeah, they might be attacking here once in a while, but like, not really by that much. Very strange. Go all in. Come on. Let's go, 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 go. We got him. We got him encircled. That's the most important thing to do right now. And they lost two Panzer Divisions. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Comrades from Europe. It isn't just the German people who will be affected by the outcome of this war. Our possessions throughout Europe, as well as our neighbors, watch with our war with keen eyes. We need to appeal to these watching nations in Europe that Albert Speer must come out on top in the war. A victory for Speer is a victory for Europe. Speer is a man who knows that Germany must reform not only for her own sake, but for her neighbors as well. Speer is the only contender in the war that truly wants to break the status quo and bring meaningful change to the Reich. We need to convince our fellow Europeans that it is in their best efforts to contribute what they can to our war effort, if for no other reason than so none of the other dudes win. Good. So good. 101st Infantry. Nice. Not bad. Hmm. It honestly feels like we could try general attack, but I'm not going to be that stupid and try it out right now. Um. Maybe focus on Hadris a little bit. Get a trail. Snuggle up around him. Kill him off maybe a little bit. Wow, we have literally no debt. We can just keep building up more millies, I suppose, for now. Yeah, we could use some more melee, so. Alright, let's go in. See what we can do. Break down. Break into them. Now, fighting over river is going to be god awful, but we might just be able to do it. Can you actually get down there, too? That'd be kind of impressive. Alright, then. Luxembourg will be ours. Anything else here? Not really, no. Oh, enemy snappers struggle their officers. Event bots. Enemy snappers starting to pick off our officers in the field. They'll pay for this. Well, that sucks. But I think well, that'll probably end us here for today. We're actually doing very, very well. I thought this would be a little bit more difficult, which actually now it might be because now that we see that Spes, uh, uh, 
Uh, Bowman soldiers are starting to actually try to fight us, but let's grab some of this before we end the episode, and we'll grab some of this. And it looks like they are attacking, but I'm not too worried about this at all. And the next episode, we probably half a bit we spent trying to finish off this uh, civil war, and then we'll move on from there. If you enjoyed today's episode, though, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll have a great time with the war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.